Well, I've made it past Lady Elizabeth and her thugs, and now here I am in Stone Market. This district's known for commerce and corruption, with plenty of both for everybody. Most people come here for the stores, but I tend to do my shopping after everything's locked up for the night. There's the clock tower, one of the tallest buildings in the city, a good landmark day or night. And finally, the Stone Market Plaza. More vendors, more people. No doubt the City Watch will be keeping an eye out for pickpockets like me, though. Being a thief is never as easy as it sounds. Anyway, it's time for me to find this Bertha character and get rid of the Opal once and for all. I hope Perry was right about her. Big Bertha's place is marked on my map with the red handprint. Yeah, you get the map, right? What else are we waiting for? I don't know. A little time to prepare, I guess. You don't just waltz into a Hamrite cathedral and run around willy-nilly. But that's the beauty of it. Element of surprise. Idiot. It's supposed to be the Hamrites that are surprised, not us. Well, I mean, everyone would be surprised. Isn't that even better? No! No! You and I, we shouldn't be surprised at all. We should be prepared, have a plan, know what we're going after and where it is, how many hammers be around, that sort of thing. Oh, yeah, I see your point. I guess. Are you sure you ain't just chicken? My last partner was chicken. Look, we just got the map. Let's study it, come up with a plan. No one's chicken. We know there's gold in there, but we also know there's really big guys in there with giant hammers. This... This is what I like to call a finesse job. Yeah, yeah, finesse. Sounds good. I vote we go in now. Surprise attack. I vote we don't. We need a plan. Finesse. Surprise. And shut up. It's you in my store? What? Let me know if you need help finding anything. I'm Marla. Marla Madison. Used to be a thief myself. Maybe you heard of me, or... Mm, but, oh, you probably just want to shop. Well, looky, looky, you must be Garrett. Somehow, I expected somebody taller. Doesn't matter. I'm Black Market Bertha, glad to meet you. Perry said to expect you. 
Said you'd have an opal for me. I'm sure we can do business. I got the best stonecutters in the city waiting to cut it up, as a matter of fact. Oh, this is a... Mm, this is a damn fine opal. One of a kind. I bet it came from one of those old noble houses. Am I right? Never mind. It ain't my business how you came to have it. Oh, well, ooh, I almost forgot. Here, a gentleman left this letter for you. Don't you worry, I didn't read it. It ain't my business, is it? You want a penny? I think I saw one in the gutter a ways back. A sight for sore eyes. notes, secret meetings. Haven't you keepers outgrown this stuff yet? It was not our intention to be cryptic. What was your intention? Don't I have friends on the Keeper Council anymore? More than you know. Garrett, may I speak? Sure. Talk. The Keeper Council has agreed to allow you access to the prophecies as they are read by our interpreter, Keeper Kataka. That's keeper talk for something bad has happened and now we want your help, right? But there is something they require of you first. Go on. Two objects, one with the Hammerites, the other with the Pagans. They are unusual. We wish to study them further. We need you to acquire them for us. You mean steal them? Are you sure these are the only hoops your Keeper friends need me to jump through before I'm allowed to hear the prophecies? It's true that through this you will have proven that you are trustworthy. None of this is... my choice. I'll get you the trinkets. 
You just make sure your keeper buddies come through on their end of the bargain. I will. Garrett? Garrett?